Hello everyone. A bit late this morning. Um, has a bit of a late night last night. Um, I'm down in St Albans. Um, I'll just show you actually what a lovely day it is today. Look at that. Lovely blue sky. Haven't actually had any. Well, I think we got the remnants of the trail actually up there, but they seem to be laying off a bit at the moment, although I know they've been bad in other areas um, around here. But yeah, so yeah, down in St Albans, my original home stand, and I'm feeling slightly hungover. I don't actually drink anymore. <laughs> I've remembered why now. I don't drink because at two G and T's and I just feel yeah, I feel rough. Um <laughs> but the sunshine's helping. I had a really lovely evening um with yeah some of the St Albans standers and it's just it it brings it home. Like every time I come down here, because I'm very blessed to have two stands, obviously, now. I've got the one in Wolverhampton where I'm I'm now living. But I've got my my home stand here and just being around these people that I've known now for over eighteen months. Um it's it's just so reassuring. We were talking about, you know, times are very, very uncertain for all of us. None of us really knows what, what's coming. We have ideas, don't we? And who knows how it's going to pan out. But the one solid thing we have is each other. And it's just the most important thing. This is what the stands are about is to have that contact, those connections with people so you don't feel vulnerable and alone. We know that we're gonna get through whatever happens together, you know, supporting each other physically, emotionally. It's it's so important to, if, if you haven't, um, yeah, been kind of forging those connections and friendships with people it really is time because without sounding um fearful or negative you know things like that it's we're heading for major changes and even when they we do come out the other side you know i do think that we are we're we're heading into a new era. Things have to change. We're staring evil in the face now. It's becoming more and more obvious with every passing day. Um, you know, it, it's it's necessary um, that all this upheaval happens. Um, we focus on it being the positive outcome, the change of the world we want to see, but we're heading, we don't know how long it's going to be, this, this tumultuous change. Even good change can be really unbalancing for people, unsettling. And when you've got people around you, like-minded, and they're looking out for you, it makes life so much more bearable when things are tough. So I really do encourage people to to get those those connections, get those friendships strengthened because we're heading into to uncharted territory really. There's so much that could happen. There's so much that might not, which would be great, but we there's nothing there's nothing certain right now. There really isn't. And that in itself is very, very destabilizing. You know, if you're constantly waiting for the ax to fall and you haven't got that support system around you, it, that's just a, a really, really horrible way to, to be living in that state of fear. You know, we talk about it all the time. Um, you know, that we don't want to be feeding this beast system with our fear, which is what they thrive on. But it's very, very difficult if you haven't got that 
that support system around you where you do feel like oh, we're going to be okay whatever happens no matter how tough things get we'll get through it together pool our resources and we're chatting to just lovely lovely friends they're not seen for a while from from the stand um last night and yeah if it comes down to it there's land that we can live on we can camp on when the shit hits the fan it's so reassuring things like this and we can all be offering these kinds of things whatever it is we can offer to each other and just just having that it's a safety net really so yeah i think we're it once again in that kind of um sort of teetering on the brink of something it feels like and just get a, as prepped as you can but the most important thing is to to not be on your own in it and that's that's why it's so important to keep the stands going also we're going to get more and more people joining us more and more as this rolls out as things get harder and harder the squeeze gets tighter a lot of people are going to be pricking up their ears and going hang on a minute because these so-called conspiracy theories are out there you know everything we've been saying is is very much out there but of course people choose to just poo poo it all oh no but when when things are right in in their faces and it's actually aligning with everything we've been talking about everything we've been warning against since this whole shit show started the cogs do start turning and we still want to be very visibly out here they know where to come people can see me a mile off they know it. there's the stand every sunday we've had um new newcomers to um my my stand in in wolverhampton new people coming along inquiring um because yeah pe people are feeling very much now that we need to get together and that's what it's always been about is coming together in unity and again it raises your vibration you're not living in that state of abject terror what on earth you know we're going to be left without this that and the other and and having to to survive on your own you don't have to there's so many of us and there will be many many more um but we're obviously here in the uk heading into winter we've got all these manufactured crises we've noticed that things are getting a bit thinner in the shops um certain things um just be mindful get prepared don't want to buy into panic but it's being sensible it's being sensible really to to get yourself um a bit organized you know um get get things in place but number one is make sure you've got your your tribe your people like if things really do um take a downward turn that you've got others there because that's that's the most important thing so yeah i hope you're having a lovely stand if you're in the uk or in this uh time zone or you you've had a nice one just swing rounds again Ooh. oh it's nice to have a really clear crisp but, but warm autumn day got the bells tolling over there the cathedral in the background yeah there are are still we've still got all these lovely things to enjoy even in the most dire of circumstances we can still get out into nature we can still enjoy being with each other and yeah do, just do do those things that are really good for you really look after yourself because then you're you're in a better position to be able to support others as well. So yeah, that's that's it from me. Um, yeah, hope hope you're all doing well, and 
yeah just um get get those uh get those systems support systems in place just in case let's hope that the worst is not going to happen but should things get really hard we know we've got each other that's the purpose of the stands and we want to also be here still for others who are just waking up to this uh reality and what's actually happening here so take care lots of love speak to you soon peace